As parents, we all hope to be role models for our children, right? But are we practicing habits that will make them see us that way? That is the question we're diving into today in Real Talk with Miss Kara Kinnear, author Dina Babel, stuck around, or is here? Oh, I'm here. Sorry, she's been here for a I've while. I've been here for a month. <laughs> and host and producer of The Excursion, David Zelsky, is back. Welcome, guys. Hey. So happy to see you in the new year. And right before uh, the break ended, David said, this is a good one, and it really is. So mm -hmm. uh, Red Book Magazine recently shared these expert tips on how to be the kind of parent that your child looks up to. So let's dive right in. Number one, I don't know why I'm going like this today. It just feels fun on a Friday. Acknowledge their feelings. So experts say that parents are oftentimes afraid that if they acknowledge the feeling they will give it more power. But the reality is that when a child knows that you see them and you see what they're feeling and experiencing, it helps build their trust in you and serves to de-escalate maybe whatever the child is going through. So um, how, how many of, of you guys practice that or make sure you practice that in those moments? I think Here. I do, for sure. Yeah, because sometimes I'm at a loss at what to say, so I kind yes. of put it on them. Like, well, what, are you, what, what are you feeling? Are you okay? Because I don't know what to do. Yeah, And then good. sort of work it out that way. Right. Yeah, I mean, we're not always going to have the answer. And I, I even said something in a discussion about a week ago. I said, you know, I'm going to answer some of these questions if you want an answer. Sometimes I'm just here to listen. Sometimes I'm not going to have that answer. But sometimes you just need to talk about it. Let it out. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. I was trying to expand my kids' vocabulary because every time <laughs> my son gets upset, he goes, she's so rude talking about his sister. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why don't you try, like, I'm frustrated or yes. I'm feeling da da da. So now he's like, she's so frustrated. He can't, he can't get it all the way out. It's a cuter word. It yeah. is, but I'm trying to give him words to use because when people are angry or mad, they don't really know how to emote, especially when they're six and eight. Hmm. Yeah, it's so true. Yeah. But yeah, getting to the core of what is really bothering them. Um, I think for me, what really made me uh, flip recently, kind of flip the script in my head, is Caroline was upset about something and she said, you know, Allie tells her mom everything and I don't feel like I can tell you <gasps> everything. And it oh, girls. cut me to the core. Girls. Girls. Can just be, uh, girls. <laughs> um, and I said, why? And she goes, I always feel like, like you're saying that I'm wrong somehow. Yeah. Oh. And really, I'm just trying to prob prob like, wh oh, no, you're not talking to Sally. Well, what happened? What did you? And I guess I was. I guess because I just wanted her to be a good person. But I was kind of making her feel guilty by whatever it was. So now it really flipped uh, kind of the switch, the script, as I said. And hopefully, and I feel like she's talking to but me But you more. know what? Yeah. You're doing something right because she did admit that. Yeah, okay. She did. Right. She said, well, here's the reason. So she trusts you. So okay. she said well, it. Thank you. And parents thank do you. play yeah. devil's advocate a lot. And I think that's, that's, that's what, part that's of what, what they do. Her. Yes. And I distinctly remember when I was, it was probably sixth grade. And I remember one time my mom saying, you know what? You're right. Teacher's wrong, and it stuck out. <gasps> yes. Ooh, and I'm and I remember that. hearing that that one time. So, wow. And I do that. I, I play devil's advocate a little, but that if I feel my child's right, I'm going I'm to tell say them. It. I said, yeah. don't tell your teacher I said that. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, that's good. Problems. And Jim does that in our, all the time with me, so that's what, what made me think of it. That's what I told her. Yeah, thank you, David. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Yeah, saying I, I was just trying to have you see both sides. It's mm -hmm. kind of, you know, what you should try and do in life, but I wasn't acknowledging her feelings enough. Mm -hmm. All right, this one I love. It's always be yourself. So parenting expert Dr. John Duffy says that too often mm -hmm. he sees parents encouraging their children to follow their gifts and passions when they are failing to do so. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you want to live your best life in front of them, your most authentic life, do you feel like you put on a different face with your children than you do with <laughs> no, those of us in TV I'm land, Tara? I'm too tired. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, welcome to our home. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no, I'm pretty much the same person all yes. the time. I don't have the energy to be anything else. But yeah. um, I, I do think there is something, though, to be said. Like, if I have a bad day, like, if it's career-related or work-related, you try not to take that. To, I mean, you don't want to discuss that even with your husband in front of your kids because... Yes. They internalize that. Yes. They I, do. I think it's cool sometimes to ask your kids, I'll say, what does mommy do? What do I do mm -hmm. for work? Like, what do I do? And they're like, you help people and you write and you, and it's cool to hear from their point of view. Right. But I also think when you were reading that, I was thinking, you know, when we were young, we were maybe in the brownies or a Girl Scouts, or what a whole lot that we did, Bob, right? Yeah. Or maybe it was my family. Yeah, no. But the reality is now our kids have so many things they can do. And so I catch myself giving them a lot of opportunity mm. and then thinking, 
Okay, we gotta pull back. So this year, after basketball, we're gonna pull back for the rest of the season, which is big in our house, and let them just have fun. Yep, good, yeah. good. Yeah. Nice. Almost giving them too many options yeah. sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, what about you as far as being, uh, kind of living your living your authentic self, your passion, really who you are? Yeah, I try to be who I am, and I realize it at times. If I do have a bad day at work or something didn't go through the way I wanted, I do bring it home. It's something mm. that I, I really try to work on, but I also try to make a point to apologize later, saying, you yeah, know what, right, it, was a, it was a bad He's day. Like I didn't mean to. Man. No, I know. No, 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 not at all. Trust me. Well, you talk to our husbands. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it, right. And I do that too, as well. I'll be like, oh, you're never going to guess. Kara was awful today on Real Talk. I'm just kidding. I never say that. I never say that. All right. Number three, always be honest. Experts say that lying to your kids isn't going to win you any points, even if it oh. seems like a harmless fib. Being honest and transparent is the way to go if you want your kids to uh, look up to you. And this is a good one, especially as they get older and you realize they are listening. Mm -hmm. They're listening to your conversations when you're getting out of something, mm -hmm. uh, right? Or yeah. you're mm -hmm. listening to your conversations with your spouse. You're so listen to this. Oh boy, yeah. this sounds juicy. <laughs> we have a new little puppy, Cookie, mm -hmm. and she's three pounds. So yesterday I took her to the, like what I thought was a soccer park, but I guess it's a dog park because I'm not a dog mom. And we're out there and the little puppy, you know, is this big running around and these two dogs come out of nowhere with this woman, these huge dogs, and they're like running straight after Cookie. Uh -oh. I do a freak out. And I'm like, no, get your dogs. Yeah. And I go down there and like wrestle my dog to the ground and I'm like, and my daughter who's about to be nine goes, so that was kind of weird. And I was like, she goes, you were kind of weird. And I was like, I so was. Because the woman walked over there very a yeah. normal, you know, doggy yes. mom and was like, they're fine. They're just playing with the puppy. And I was like, <laughs> okay, she, I'm she crazy. felt like you overreacted. You felt and I did you overreact. But my, I did. I felt mm. threatened. And mm. I was like, honey, I'm going to tackle the puppy. Yes, yes. Yeah. But I said to my kids, I noticed how my daughter took that in. So I walked up to the lady and I said, hey, I'm a new dog mom. Oh, and I said, my daughter let me know that I overreacted. And I probably did, but I was scared. And she yeah. was like, no problem. Dogs come here all the time, but you need to know the dogs are going to be here. And I'm like, okay. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> but my daughter, like, she called yeah. me, and she I was, was like, like, "Forgive mm -hmm. my mother, right. please." Well, she's like, um, "That was weird. You were a little overreactive," and I was like, "Okay." Right. Just yeah. wait till she's 14. Oh, yeah. oh God, no, please. All right, now what do you, um, I want to know what you think about um, number four, which is give them options. Mm -hmm. Because I think if my mom were on this panel, maybe most of our mother, our generation, she would say we give them way too many options. So this particular uh, a parent educator says children sometimes rebel when they feel like they have no choice, no power. Give them that choice, then he or she feels like they hurt, they're heard, their decision matters. But I feel like if we are not careful, we have taken this yeah. to the whole. I mean, we're going to plan. Where do you want to go on vacation, kids? <laughs> what do you want to do? Yeah. What mean, do you want to do for dinner? Right? Right. Oh, true. What do you yeah. want to do for? Oh, think, she doesn't want that. We can't get. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think you give them options that you want, right? You give them two true. things that you want to do, and then. Yeah, you have to be careful with that. I mean, we have to remember that we're the adults. Like they don't run our lives. Right. We we brought them we brought them here. <laughs> we brought we them here them to back. planet Earth. No. <laughs> they do run our but, lives. Uh, yeah. right. But we don't want them to know that. Yeah. yeah no, yes. I know what you're saying though. You know, it's uh, yeah, they they have to have um, options that are things that we can handle mm -hmm. and that we want to do. Yeah. Right. yeah. We you gotta stay in control even though everything we do is based on them. Right. Yeah, right. right. But that that definitely, by the way, is my mom will go. Leave the way that you talk to them sometimes, <laughs> like they're just little adults. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I think as long as you can tailor it to be kind of what you want. Okay, mm -hmm. Haley, I didn't hear the time cue, but can I get to um, this next one? Playing? Yes? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, how, how many put your phones down and you actually lock eyes and are playing with your kids throughout the day? Playing? Mm -hmm. I try. I, I mean, try. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Now, it's playing, a hard one. They, they, they don't have free time. I know. They, but just for 15 minutes, yeah. it says I was 15 relieved. minutes. I was relieved it said 15 minutes. I yeah. think it should be longer than that. But honestly, it made me feel like I was doing a good job. And you don't read stuff like that all the time and feel like that. Right. 15 minutes seems like not a long time. But I would say I give eye-to-eye -eye contact for 15 minutes. In chatting, yeah. yes. Yeah. I came yeah. home from work yesterday, 
and my wife was outside jumping on the trampoline with my six-year-old oh, daughter. Fine. So I said, oh, you know what? I'm going to go join them. Aww. And my back hurts because yeah. <laughs> right, my, right. my wife was a gymnast, could do some, or cheerleader, and could yes. do some things. I tried it. And I'm and like, yeah, oh, I'm in pain. Well, competitive. Yeah. But you did it, Kara. And I'm not yes. talking about cooing well, at Liza. You, no, I, well, I was just going to say, I look directly in Isaac's eyes when I'm yelling at him <laughs> all the time. So, yes. We talked about that at the top of the show. <laughs> yes. Please weigh in on, on toddler help. Help me. 